What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidugo Vibes here, aka Lord Farquad, aka Post Malone, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over another episode which you guys have seen frequently. It's the monthly favorites, and in this month we're going over January. No, what the fuck? December. Happy New Year to every single person watching this video right now. 2018 gang gang, this year is gonna be it's gonna be an interesting year. I've got a project up my sleeve, which is gonna take a couple months. It's gonna come out great. That's all I'm gonna give out. That's literally all I'm saying. I'm gonna do my series with the sewing. I'm gonna do maybe some vlogging. Who freaking knows? So if you are new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Come and join the gang. Here on Vidugo Vibes, I upload two videos every single week. Oh, excuse me. Regarding outfits, shitty ones, pickups, reviews, menswear, all that type of shit. So without further ado, Let's get in to this monthly favorites. We'll start with the pickups, follow through with the music, and that's probably about it. I have no movies uh, that I've seen. No, I didn't watch any movies, and I haven't seen any books. Like, watched any books. What the? Read any books? What the fuck? Sorry, it's gonna be a quick fucking video. Pickups, music, that's it. Two of these for the first two pickups. You guys have already seen before, starting with the first one, which is my Bottega Veneta Chelsea boot in the camel colorway. You guys have seen this on my top 10 pickups, which actually was my top five, I think it was. But um, yeah, beautiful shoe, which actually pairs really well with one of the pickups in this video coming up shortly, which will be styled as well. So the Bottega Veneta Chelsea boot with the infamous uh, Bottega Veneta stitching, which creates a bit of structure. The most classic and timeless shoe you will ever need. I really highly suggest everyone to just grab a Chelsea boot, whatever it may be depending on what color you want in your wardrobe. Cause man, they are so timeless. They're never gonna go out of style. And if you wanna invest money, definitely go ahead and grab a Bottega Veneta. The newer season ones are a lot nicer too. A lot of people are like really iffy about it, but I think the new season ones are freaking fire. But your boy's unemployed, so fuck that shit. And the second pickup, which you guys have already seen, is in fact my Nike Zoomfly SP in the white and black colorway. I already did a review on this. So if you haven't, just go back like a couple videos. It's posted there. And I'll also have like a card maybe over here. But um, Nike Zoomfly SP, definitely, definitely recommend going half a size up at least. I didn't have the chance to do that, so I took the insole out and it's fine. But yeah, half size up. Pay 330 Australian dollars off StockX. Don't forget to sign up with your email and you can get $20 US off your first purchase, which is great. And yeah, that pretty much just covers shipping because Australian shipping is fucked. Great shoe to style. I really love wearing these with crop trousers and shorts, especially in the summertime right now because it's pretty hot. I will definitely wear this to Australian Open. So if you guys are going to go Australian Open, let me know and come join the game because Federer and Nadal are fucking shit. Third on the list is actually something that I received as a Christmas gift from my girlfriend. Thank you, babe. She actually promised me and I promised her that we wouldn't spend more than 50 bucks. And I walked into Zara. Yeah, I walked into Zara, not knowing that this was there. And I was like, shit, this is pretty much SLP for 50 bucks. Might as fucking well, and it's this Hawaiian style uh, short sleeve, 100% viscose shirt, bowler shirt actually, which has the um, overlap and then the flat collar. It's 100% viscose, so it's drapey as fuck. Has like, just like normal standard sleeves. It's not oversized or anything, normal buttons. And it actually goes from like this, like, um, like khaki slash beige, and then fades into a creamy white with palm trees along, wrapping along the whole entire shirt. I posted this underground fits and also on Instagram too. And I had a few people ask me where I got it from. Dude, I got it from Zara. I'm not paying 800 bucks for a freaking SLP shirt. Fuck that. I'd rather get this for 50 bucks and look just as mint. Next up on my list is actually something that I don't wear and the next one as well I don't wear at all and it is denim. I don't wear jeans, I don't wear denim, but I had an interview and I needed to wear a pair of jeans because I already wore trousers to the first one. Yes, there's like three stages, it's crazy. But with this, I went out on a limb. I went on general pants and I knew about, I knew about this brand to a point, right? Because I like the leather jacket that they have. But I put into general pants because I knew they would have something and they got afterpay, so that's fucking lit. I put in the style slim, tape it and straight. And that showed me all the denim that they had in that specific style. Cause I didn't want skinny. I don't wear skinny. I can't pull off skinny. So there's no fucking point. Nevertheless, I ran into a pair of new denim and 
N-E-U-W. And these are great. These are freaking great. They are actually called the Ray Tapered, but they're not that tapered at all. These are going to size 36. I wish I got a 34, but it was the only one left and I needed them ASAP. So they are very, very big in the waist, surprising enough. And it's a faded black pair of denim. So it has like a nice faded print towards the front of the jeans and at the top's a little bit more on the black side. I will um, zoom this bitch out and put it down for you guys so you can see. Um, I don't really know how else to describe this. It has like a bit of fading here on the knees and on the back as well, it has a bit of fading too. But the general purpose of it is black and the next pair of denim actually is jet black. So that's pretty good. Let me put this back in focus. Bang, bang, right there. There we fucking go. Pricing on these were 80 bucks. These retail for like 160. So I only had, there was only one left in this size and I had to get it for this interview. And yeah, I couldn't be, I couldn't be more happy with these pair of jeans because they're so, so comfortable because that beautiful 2% spandex. So it's nice and stretchy, but they didn't come like this when you see it on the on body. I had to get them hemmed and I had to get them tapered, but I think they need to be a little bit more tapered, like just the tiniest bit. I was in a rush with my grandma because the interview was like a day later when I got these actually altered. So um, yeah, I might get them tapered a tiny bit more, like half an inch and they'll fit perfect. And I just like them how they're just nice and straight. They're nice and roomy in the thighs and then taper in slightly to the middle. And it gives off like that nice slim cut. It's not skinny, like to the point where you can see my freaking calves. So that's awesome. And last but not least, like I said before, I've got another pair of denim to show you. And I actually picked this up on Boxing Day sale at High Point. These were just like the last ones left and they're from Uniqlo U and it was on sale. And I actually saw this particular denim online and was like, damn, I really wish I got these. But at the time I didn't wear denim, so there was no point. But with this pair of denim, bro, holy fuck, they're so nice and white. So it's just a simple black, black pair of jeans from the Uniqlo U. The retail I think was like 50 or $60. I paid 30 bucks, so half price, which is great. It's very, very wide cut. Like it's wide at the thighs and then it's still very wide at the bottom here. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna leave it as it is because they're cropped already and the crop length like fits me perfectly. So there's no point. But the main purpose I'm gonna use for these are these bad boys. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna wear these most of the time and then cuff them and wear them with boots. Pretty much the whole fucking time. That's the only way I will ever wear cuffed jeans is with boots, black jeans, cuffed, and you let the boots still pop. Bro, what a fucking look. Other than that, paying half price for Uniqlo U collection, I couldn't be more happier because I love the Uniqlo U line. It's amazing. Other than that, it just has like the Uniqlo U branding there, and that's really about it. The fit is what the purpose of this piece is. There isn't any crazy like any rips which you shouldn't wear anyway but there's no like anything like that it's just simple black pair of denim and the fits fucking sick <laughs> So that's it for the pickups. Now I want to get into the music, which I've been listening to for this month of December. But um, with this month, like I said, my last month, I've got my Spotify playlist for December favorites. It's in the link down below. And also there's going to be my January playlist for 2018 gang. So go ahead and click that, follow the playlist and you get to stay updated for when I keep updating the list. And if you want, you can even DM me on Instagram or Snapchat me. I always reply quickly on snaps. And you can give me a list of songs and I can add to that as well. So with all that being said, we're getting into the music in three, two, one. Girl, gonna come up, roll us and go. Oh yeah, gonna sip it slow. Why start reforming? Oh, what? What around, what around, what around town? town. I heard hey. this boy was a clown. Swim in your bitch, watch I drown. Call him up, no for the pounds. My body with cut. Cardi a body in a Rari Diamonds all over my body Shining all over my body Cardi got my your body. bitch on Molly Nigga. I'm in the coupe for show <laughs> Candy cold Candy Woo. Make sure my jello my cold Mace. I'm on froze I'm on I can make you this Baby I can make you that I can make you this Baby I can make you this Baby I can make you that I can take you there But baby you won't make it back Told the plug it's for me He came down on the price yeah. When you been in these streets I teach you how to survive Put up in a drop top, she dropped it. I put up in a drop top, she dropped it. 
So that concludes the music and that concludes the end of another episode of the monthly favorites. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I apologize for not having music, no, for having movies and books because it's been a busy month. It's December, everyone's on holidays, Christmas, New Year's and all that shit. So hopefully you guys had a great New Year's and hopefully you guys stayed safe and got fucking lit as shit. And with that being said, go ahead and join the gang. The subscribe button is over there. And don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video as well, which is over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Vigigo Vibes. I'm out, guys. Peace.